What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of My Journey to an Ultimate Team and we're going to start this episode off making loads and loads of signings and as you can tell by the first one here being Danny Welbeck they are going to be Premier League team signings and that is because we're going to be replacing the Bundesliga side. I kind of just decided that the Premier League team was going to be a, a little bit more fun to kind of just slowly upgrade over time and B... The Bundesliga team, it was kind of difficult to like slowly upgrade that one. It was like you basically had Aubameyang or Lewandowski or all the other strikers weren't all that great. Uh, similar for the CDMs as well. You know, Vidal is basically who I would have wanted at CDM and there was kind of no in-betweens. And there's a lot more in-betweens in here in the Premier League that we can gradually build on. I am going to try and keep the formation the same. Uh, at a 4-2-3-1 and it's just basically a straight swap. I'm going to just get rid of the Bundesliga team and just put all these players where all those Bundesliga players just were. So who are we signing? We have signed so far. We have signed Danny Welbeck. We have signed Izquierdo. We have signed Bolasi, who looks a lot of fun to use. We have signed Lancini. In our CDM positions, we're going to have Wanyama. I didn't sign another one because I'm actually going to use somebody who... You guys may or may not agree with at the other CDM position. We have him in the club, but I'll save that as a little surprise here in a second. At left back, we are going to go with Luke Shaw. At center back, which these guys were actually the more expensive players, but in this FIFA, it's so hard to defend. I think you definitely should spend a little bit extra coins on your, on your center backs to make sure you're not conceding 50 goals every single game. So we're going to have Smalling and Sanchez as our center back partnership to a fairly tall and Decent pace, good defending, all that good stuff. So those guys should be solid at the back enough. In goal, we're going to have the Greek guy, Karnetsis. And I didn't have to sign a right back because in our club already, we have the Chelsea, the Italian right back from Chelsea, Sapa Costa. So that's the last look at the Bundesliga side. The only player from there that I'm going to sell is going to be Bruma. The rest of those players, I'm just going to store in the club because they all really don't go for much. And Bruma doesn't even go for that much, but he does go for a little over 5K. So 5K in the bank, why not? So we are going to use the squad builder here, put the team together. Unfortunately, I didn't know they were going to use all my lone players. So I'm going to have to like clean up what the CPU did for us already. Take out Kane and all that. But the team is going to look solid enough. I don't know if I'm going to keep this formation permanently, but... I'm, I was kind of liking it before, so I'm just going to continue to try and grind it out and figure out this formation. If in the long run it doesn't work out, no big deal. I'll switch it up. So that's the guy that I was telling you guys that I was going to use at CDM, which you guys may or may not agree with, and that is going to be Ndidi. Um, funny thing about Ndidi is that he actually has more in-game stats than Bakayoko, and Bakayoko is like 24, 25,000 coins. And the only main difference is that Bakayoko just edges him slightly in the defensive department. But actually, after we put Sentinel on Ndidi, he's got significantly better defensive stats than Bakayoko does. So I thought, you know what, let's try out Ndidi. He might be a hidden gem. He might not. It's no big deal. We had him in the club. And I don't know, for some reason, I just wanted to use him. So if he doesn't end up working out, that's fine. That's not really a problem. We can just easily replace him with... There are many different CDMs in the Premier League for us to use. Now, this time around, I did decide to put on chemistry styles on every single one of my players just because I think I need to get the good impression of these teams and good impression of these players by getting the most out of them. So we're going to use chemistry styles on, the, on our players to make sure we're just getting the most out of our players, obviously. Now, unfortunately for us, it doesn't start off well for our Premier League team because I do make a mistake there with Zappa Costa. That was 100% my fault, so I can only be so upset. I tried to take a touch. His touch wasn't that great, and it just ended up leading to an easy cross into the center, and he finishes off his chance. Uh, Welbeck, he does indeed hit the crossbar, and now he is going to actually score his second with Martial. And that goal was so annoying to concede because if you guys see just prior to that, I was just like literally all over him. I was like literally chasing him down with like four players. And it's just I couldn't get the ball off him. This guy was a good player though, to be fair. He actually hits the post there. It could have been 3-0. He is going to make it 3-0 here though. It seemed like he just had all the time in the world there with Martial to just turn around and put it into the corner. So that was a pretty shocking debut from the team. And to be honest, I don't really want to say it was the team itself. It was the formation. I felt very, very void of attacking threat in that match. And like I said, I'm going to just continue to grind out this formation. I'm going to try it for one more Foot Champions Weekend League. And if it doesn't work out, 
then that'll basically let me know like look this formation is not for you maybe it's not as good as i thought it was going to be in this fifa and it's just time to move on so i'm going to try again i did go into the next match with the premier league team because obviously you lose three nil and you didn't get to really do much exciting things so i'm like all right let's go ahead and go into another match put a squad fitness on them and it didn't start off very well well it started off well and then it went bad because we won the penalty and welbeck was not able to convert from the spot however we are going to finally score our first goal with this team lancini on his left foot puts it into the corner and we're on the ball here with lancini again good interchange between himself and welbeck and lancini puts it into the corner interesting enough he's got the first two goals welbeck hasn't done a thing yet uh this guy wasn't all that great but he did have a couple of chances there our keeper comes up with a good save and welbeck finally gets himself onto the score sheet making it three nil and then welbeck is going to make it four nil so it, things are looking a bit more a bit more positive there. Welbeck got himself two goals. Lancini got himself two goals, and he does actually make a mistake out of the back here, and Welbeck actually completes his hat trick. So, much 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 better uh, performance there from this formation. I think one of the key things to do with this formation is actually to be constantly sending your cam and your left and right mids on runs. You really have to try and help them get involved as much as possible to support your striker, but. I don't know. We'll keep figuring things out. Anyway, here we are in the transfer list. I did sell that Bruma for just over 5,000 coins. And guys, I was trying to trade last night, but I mean, I was struggling very bad. I did manage to pick up a couple of these Turkish silver left backs. I noticed that they were going for like 6,000 coins somewhere in that area and a little bit higher so i decided to pick a few of them up see if this would work just to get just put some of our coins to work i was going for a lot more of the big money trades you know i was trying to get like maybe a trade with sergio ramos i mean i used countless players guys i couldn't even begin to tell you i was trying to trade with ramos de Gea, neuer i was trying to really make a big money trade but it just wasn't coming to fruition so i just decided to put some of our coins to work and list up those turkish left backs now Going on to this next match, this guy has a 4-3-3 with Inform Valbuena, actually, a player that I have not seen yet. I don't know if he was in Team of the Week 1 or Team of the Week 2, but he is in this guy's team, and Felipe Anderson should probably be scoring that. I'm actually quite disappointed with how wide that went. I know it was on his weaker foot. I'm not actually sure what his weak foot is, but he didn't capitalize on that great opportunity, and this guy capitalizes on his to make it 1-0, but we weren't down for long. Shiro Immobile. What an incredible signing he has been for us, and he does score a long shot right in the top left-hand corner. I mean, if there's one thing I can say about his finishes is that they just seem to be so well put in the corner. Another great example there, a little drag back, and he just bends it into the far corner, and that time on his weaker foot. So, Immobile has been fantastic for us, and we are going to score a pretty nice long shot here with Joao Mario, not coming off one, but two posts. And he does make it 3-1 from distance. We are actually going to pick up a fourth. It was like once we equalized with Immobile, it's like we couldn't stop scoring. We just went on a little spree. Uh, that one comes off the post, but Perisic is there to clean up at the back post to make it 4-1. However, this guy does get the last laugh. Inform Valbuena, who I mentioned earlier, does finesse one into the corner in the 82nd minute. That's okay. He was too far gone. There was only like eight minutes left. And there was no way I was going to allow him to get himself back into that match now. We are going to go into another match. Those uh, Turkish left backs that I was trying to sell, the, they were moving a little on the slow side, admittedly. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe it wasn't. I'm going to do my best to get rid of them. I certainly don't want to lose coins. But yeah, hopefully trading goes a little bit smoother the next time around I try to do so. So this next guy, he has a 4-4-2 team with bad chemistry. And this is not what I was expecting to see. I thought we were done with this. I, I know we're only in Division 8, but... I haven't come up against a team like this in quite some time, so I was pretty surprised when I saw somebody with, like, he's playing Lucas Vasquez at center mid and stuff like that, which obviously that's going to kill his chemistry. So we make it 1-0 with Welbeck. You see, I kind of just dribbled my way in. There was no pressure, and I was just like, all right, I'm just going to have a go here. Welbeck does make it 2-0, a great through ball there from Lancini, but I'm not going to get too carried away. I know this guy's chemistry is pretty bad, so I kind of went into this match it kind of expecting to score quite a few goals we are going to make it 3-0 here Danny Welbeck uh, just kind of dribbling his way around he's kind of diving in all over the place we eventually find space and we make it 3-0 and in this game it's like Danny Welbeck was just on another level he's already bagged his hat trick and it's the 75th minute we are going to pick another one up here some great footwork there from Lancini Welbeck picking up the assist and in this next clip you're going to see one of the most clear-cut penalties of all time I don't think in any FIFA with any ref being as terrible as they kind of are sometimes in this game, that penalty decision is not going to be 
given. So we do actually manage to convert this time around. Welbeck's there, and I'm not going to put the arrow on penalties anymore because I'm pretty sure you cannot do that on foot champs. So if I can't do it on foot champs, I may as well start practicing how to do that without the arrow. So Welbeck picks up another goal after that penalty conversion, and he scores a massive five goals in one match. That is the most goals I've scored with one striker in a game so far, and he does get a perfect 10 rating with five goals, one assist. Lancini actually picked up three assists, which is very nice, and we absolutely smash that guy so that's a good confidence builder for the team especially after that first loss that they took on their debut now we move on to our transfer list guys and you guys see i have managed to only sell two out of like i think i have a, about six more uh to try and sell and it's not the end of the world i'm pretty sure i am going to be able to sell them however i am a bit disappointed i didn't get to get any big money trades towards you guys i'm going to try to do that in future episodes i will do my best i'm not even exaggerating when i say i was up till almost three three o'clock to four o'clock in the morning trying to get a, get a decent trade for you guys but it just didn't didn't pan out but i did put the effort and hopefully in future episodes we'll have some more successful trades and we are going to make some decent profit on these guys i got some of these for like as low as two thousand coins and if you sell them for six thousand that's 4k in the bank you can't be too mad with that but that's gonna be it for this episode guys i hope you guys are enjoying the series please leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching